Hi, I'm Emily Kinney, and I play Beth Green on The Walking Dead. Well, I moved to New York City, and I, I basically just started going to open calls that I found in Backstage or um, Playbill.com. So I started out in theater a lot, um, and um, as I went to open calls, I made connections through you know casting directors and uh, met other actors and um, was able to book some gigs through that and eventually met an agent, and um, that's how I kind of started out. My very first paid acting gig was playing Hermia and Snug in Midsummer Night's Dream in this summer uh, theater company called Summer Theater of New Canaan. We rehearsed in New York City and then we would take the train out each night to Connecticut to perform for like this big outdoor theater. Well, specifically for acting, I think that um, it can have a lot of ups and downs, and so I think the main thing is like sticking with it. And also, um, I don't know, everybody's path is so different, so you almost can't compare to anyone else's. I think everyone has a very different first, you know, acting gig or, or um, a very uh, different, like, first experience. Some people go to school, some people don't, and I think um, one of the biggest things you can do is sort of um, not compare yourself to any of the other actors out there and just follow your own path. Um, and I think sticking with it is a big part of it. And learning, always like, always taking the opportunity to, if, you know, take a class if it interests you, go to an audition if it interests you, like really at first checking out every avenue before sort of narrowing down. Um, I think a lot of times uh, um, young people and, even, and people who are in the industry see it, think that you can sort of um, become like a big star overnight or something like that. But I think that um, it really takes a lot more time than that. And I think that being an actor, being an artist, being involved in this sort of industry um, is is something that you kind of choose to do regardless of the, regardless of like some big stardom or big, you know, overnight break. It's something that you would do anyway. And it, it takes a lot of time and, and um, perseverance. And um, it takes a lot of little jobs to get maybe a job that seems like a bigger job. Um, and they're all really important. Well, I think obviously the best part is getting to do it, getting to do acting and singing and like getting to, like when I wake up in the morning and go to work, it has something to do with that because um, I would do it anyway. Uh, but the other thing is the people that you meet. All of my best friends are people that I've met doing, doing this job and um, doing other acting gigs, doing other singing gigs. So I think that the friendships that you make is probably the best best thing. I started out um, just singing when I was little all the time, like singing the songs that I heard on the radio, and I would enter myself in little talent contests <laughs> around town in Nebraska, so I started out um, singing in talent contests and knowing that I wanted to keep doing that. and. Of course, I would see people on TV or I would hear people on the radio and think, oh, I want to do that. I want to connect with audiences. I, I love stories. I love um, performing. And so it was sort of... So music got you into acting. Yeah, I feel like music first got me into acting. My dream job was to be an actor and to be a singer. I think that's a really, I think ultimate career goal is, is really hard. I, um, I would hope that I can just keep working and keep working on projects that I think are really cool and I think 
that I'm excited about and that keep making me grow as an artist. Um, um, it's really hard for me to define like one specific like award or, or like, oh, I want to be in this exact kind of movie. Um, I think if you're an actor or an artist or singer, you always want to do that. So whatever project you're working on now is like the most important thing. And then when that project ends, then you just want to keep working and keep working on projects that make you excited. Um, so it's hard for me to define an ultimate career goal except for that to just be able to keep doing this and to keep being able to provide for myself doing what I love to do. Well, I really love, <laughs> I really love Homeland and I really love Smash and Nashville because I love all the music stuff. And when I was growing up, I really loved, um, I really loved Dawson's Creek. And I've always been a fan of Kevin Williamson and like Scream and um, all of the stuff that he writes. So. Uh, your weapon of choice always has to be something quiet so you don't draw other walkers to you. So mine is a knife, I think. Big, really big, long knife so that you can stay far away. I don't want them touching me. <laughs>